Shalom, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Ko Holayim, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Akar Kadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone who woo well and taught me this truth. And Shalom to all the brothers out there to the four corners of the earth pushing this word in all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. <coughs> This is um Kazaba from GMS Charlotte. Um and I got a, you know, lesson uh dealing with uh how America is about to be plagued heavily with um demons and apparitions, man. Okay. And um we're gonna get into it is uh Wisdom of Solomon seventeen, man. All right, because what happened in Egypt, um, you know, one of the plagues was the uh was darkness, I believe for three days, if I'm not mistaken. But then those three days, um the Lord was Plaguing the place with heavy demonic um spirits, man. All right. And um and Wisdom of Solomon seventeen goes into it, man. All right. So we're gonna hit that. And you know, this is an example for what's gonna happen, but it's gonna be um A hey, man. I can't even put it infinite times worse, man, than um what happened to Egypt, man. All right, so we're gonna get straight into it. This is um this is Solomon seventeen, verse one. For great are thy judgments. And cannot be expressed. So already off the bat, man. All right. Great are Yahweh Bashim Shai's judgments. And cannot be ex expressed, man. All right. So the Lord got some things for these people that they they don't know. They, they don't have no words to express it, man. All right. It says, therefore, unnurtured souls have erred. Verse 2. For when unrighteous Men thought to oppress the holy nation, all right, the Egyptians, okay, uh, and you know, and that's gonna, and who's the modern Egyptian today? Esau, the so-called white man, all right. So it's gonna be happening unto them, their lands, all right. It's gonna be, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, judgments that can't be expressed are gonna be uh placed upon this place, man. It says, um, for when unrighteous men. Thought to oppress the holy nation, they being shut up in their houses, the prisoners of darkness and fetters of the bonds of a long night, lay there exiled from the eternal uh, providence. Kind. <clears throat> so, the darkness that we was talking about, man, the plague of darkness. Okay. Which America is gonna get a plague of darkness too, man. <laughs> all right, <laughs> hey man, it's gonna be it's gonna be all the will of you. How about you, man? Shy, man. All right, it says verse three. For while they suppose to lie hid in their secret sins, they were scattered under a dark veil of forgetfulness, being horribly astonished. And troubled with strange apparitions. And we look up the word apparition. It means ghosts, demons, um, um phantoms. <laughs> hey, man, the Lord was plaguing them with some horrible sights, man. All right, everything that you see in these movies, man, the Lord was plaguing them, them with that, man. And it's going to come to America, you know, infinite times worse, man. All right, because I can't, you know, we can't put a number on it. It's going to just come worse, man. All right. The Lord is going to really turn it up a notch, man. All right. It says, For neither might the corner that held them kept keep Salakia. For neither might the corner that held them keep them from fear. All right. So they was bunched up in the corner, man. Okay. It says, But noises as of waters falling down. Sounded about them, and sad visions appeared unto them with heavy countenances. So demons were appearing unto them with heavy, scary countenances, man. All right, and and it said there was hearing waters, man, <laughs> waterfalls dropping near them, man. When there was nothing there, man. So the Lord was bugging these people out completely, man. All right, and it says, verse five, no power. A fire might give them light. So if they, even they lit a fire, they couldn't. It was so dark you couldn't see the fire. All right, even if it was right in front of your face, man. All right, that's how dark it was, man. All right. It says, 
Neither could the bright flames of the stars endure to lighten the horrible night. Only there appeared unto them a fire kindled of itself. Very dreadful, man. What does that talk about, man? Them demons, man. All right, because the demons are spirits, man, and the spirit is a is is a, a fire, man. Okay, so talk about them demons, man. <laughs> it, it was a demon in itself, right there, man. All right, it says very dreadful for being much terrified. Uh, terrified, they thought the things which they saw to be worse than the the sights they saw not. So what they saw, what the Lord was plaguing them to see, the demons and everything, was worse than what they didn't see, man. <laughs> hey, man, the Lord was, oh, the Lord was jacking these people up, man. All right? And he's going to do the same thing to these peons in America, man. All right? That do wickedness at an all-time high, man. The Lord is going to bug these people out, man. All right? But his, his elect that are going to be straight, man. All right? His elect are not going to fear, all right? Because they've read... And they have faith, man, that the Lord is going to bring them through whatever, man. All right. It says, um, for as the illusions of art magic, because they was heavily into um, magic and, and sorcery, man. It says they were put down and their venting and wisdom was re reproved with disgrace. For they that promise to drive away terrors and troubles from a sick soul were sick themselves of fear, worthy to be laughed at. So the so-called exorcists of Egypt, <laughs> the ones that would so-called cast out demons, all right, that to help troubled souls were scared themselves, man. It was a, it was a sight to laugh at, man, all right. Uh, <laughs> I like if you were watching the movie The Exorcist, man, how that one priest was scared. Hey, man, it's it was the same thing. It's gonna be the same thing in America, man. All right, and it says, for for though no terrible thing did fear them, yet being scared with beast that passed by and hissing of serpents. <clears throat> they died for fear. Den <laughs> hey, man. Uh, they died for fear, man. All right. So niggas is having heart attacks, man, because of what they saw. And that's the same thing that's going to be happening in America, man. All right. But like I said, it's going to be infinite times worse, man. The Lord's going to turn it up all the way, man. All right. And these demons from the, the, the fourth dimension, man, and the spiritual realm, man. These demons are going to manifest, man. Uh, manifest themselves physically. All right? And they they going to scare the shit out of these people, man. Excuse my French, man. It says, Denying that they saw the air, which could of no side be avoided, for wickedness condemned by her own witness is very... Uh, Tormasis and being pressed with conscience always forecasts grief, a uh, grieful, grievous things. Saki, Aki. For fear is nothing else but a betrayal of the sick horse which reason which reasoneth offers offereth. So basically, fear is, you know, the, the your mind playing tricks on you, all right? For, you know, when you reason with things, it's the, the reasoning leaving your mind, man. All right? That's what, the, that's what fear is, man. It says, um, it says, an expectation from within being less counted the ignorance more that the cause which bringeth the torment. But they sleeping the same sleep that night, which was indeed intolerable. So they wasn't even getting sleep. All right. It says, and which came upon them out of the bottoms of inevitable hell. So they was catching 
nothing but hell those three days, man. All right. Them days that the darkness was over them, they was catching nothing but hell, man. All right. And it's the same thing that's going to happen to America, man. It says, war partly vexed with monstrous apparitions. All right. So monstrous apparitions were... <laughs> <laughs> we're we're uh, plugging them, man. All right, and it's, hey, man, you you laugh at this because you know it's gonna be worse here in America, man. People are gonna bug out, man. All right, and I came, you know, we came and give words as the scripture said in the beginning. Great are the great are the judgments of Yahweh by Shema Shai and cannot be expressed. So you know, only you know we see through movies, and you know, what brothers say, you know, we try to express it. And they try to express it, but it's going to be far worse, man. Far worse than what we ever, you know, ever seen ever, you know, in the history of the world, man. The Lord, like I said, the Lord is go all out, go all out for this, destroying this place, man. All right. It says, um, part, partly vexed with monster apparitions and partly fainted their heart, failing them for a sudden fear and not. Looking for came unto them, so then whatsoever there fell down was surely kept shut up in a prison without iron iron bars, and that's the point I wanted to get. That's the last verse I wanted to get. So they were, um, <laughs> they were so scared that they couldn't move. So it was basically like they was in a prison. But there's no iron bars in front of them, man. All right, David didn't want to move left. They didn't want to move right. All right, because they didn't know where these sounds were coming from, man. All right, so they was stuck in one place, scared to move and scared not to move, man. <laughs> so the Lord, like I said, the Lord is about to plague this place ultimately with the with great terrors and fears, man. All right, and yeah, and and the men of the Lord are gonna be uh, safe. All right, and you know the elect of the nation of Israel are gonna be safe. And they're not going to bug out because of these things, man. Right? They're going to see it happen to these people. And ultimately, who's going to have the last laugh, man? All right? <laughs> all right? Because all the wickedness that this place has, has been into, man. All right? So, hey, man. With that, you know, hope this is edifying to the elect. Hey, stay strong. Um, Build up your faith with these scriptures, you know. And in your Bashima I pray for more faith if you feel like you're lacking. Because these times that are coming is going to really test your faith, man. All right. So with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, double honest to my apostles, the elders at Great Millstone, who rule well and taught me this truth. And shalom to all the brothers out there through the four corners of the earth, pushing this word in all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom.